Suavemente, besame. Cheers to our second YouTube video together. So today's concept of the video is going to be a get ready with me. We're going to just do a quick, easy look. Something that we do, we don't really do like any crazy makeup. Like we don't use like crazy colors. It's more like natural too. Maybe in another video we'll do like something that we're not like comfortable with. Something more out there. And if there's something you guys would like to see, definitely comment below. I was going to say like we don't have any makeup on. The only thing we did is our eyebrows because that takes too long to do on camera. So... Yeah. We're looking a little extra. Our eyebrows so this are is a little us extra. Every day, but just no eyebrows. Oh, and I have lash extensions. I don't. I'm a bald eyed boy. Boy, if you don't get. <laughs> oh, we'll also be answering questions. First question What prompted us to get started on YouTube? I think it's something that we like always talked about, but we never like actually did. I always wanted to do YouTube um, since freshman year. I started getting on YouTube, learning how to like curl my hair, do my makeup, stuff like that, just because I would see all the girls in high school look pretty, and I, I was a tomboy. It's just like us personally, we had just always talked about wanting to start something like us two, but we just never have. And the other day, we were just literally like, let's just do it. When I get ready, I always be like, so today I'm going in with she my... She literally does. Even if like <laughs> we're getting ready together, she, she still does that. I don't know why. I just like talking. To the mirror talking to myself i guess so <laughs> here we are the next question fair place you traveled and why i haven't really traveled a lot so that's like something i want to do like a lot of this year i think that's a good resolution definitely yeah i think my favorite place is thailand uh just because i feel like that was always like your dream of going there so like it was it was if you were to ask me before I went there, what's my dream place? It was Thailand. Just because my favorite food is Thai food, and I just think the culture is really dope. It was awesome. Beautiful experience. I definitely tell everybody to go there. The cost of living is so cheap. Your money goes a long way there. Like, a pad tire soup will cost you like 55 cents to a dollar. <laughs> okay, my next question was, what highlight is that? And that was like the picture that I posted of us. Mm -hmm. And I was using um, the Carly Bible, this palette. I was using this shade in the Carly Bible highlight palette. I love those highlights. Those are the highlights I used too. It's so pigmented. Next question. Best time with your mom. Oh my god. I mean, me and my mom are best friends. Literally, like, we always have a blast in a glass. But the best time, something recent, when we went to California, we went to um, Santa Monica Pier. And I was driving and I was trying to get out, exit out. And this car just like literally floored it, not trying to let me let me out. Like he was being an asshole, basically. And it was like a, a guy driving, like I want to say like 50 years old, and his like daughter was like 12, right? The girl was just like dead ass looking at us, just like haha, we didn't let you out type of thing, just looking at us. I mean, I don't care. It's like whatever, like whatever. I'll get out eventually. My mom got so pissed, literally. She dead ass looks at this girl and says, "Fuck you." <laughs> I, this girl's mouth is like literally she's 12 years old and she's just like and she stare, she turns to her dad and like snitches to the dad so then the dad <laughs> leans over his, and then he's like are you serious you just flicked off my uh, 12 year old daughter did you really just flick her off so my mom well yeah yes like she was a little ass girl like my mom but me and my mom we were taking shots before then so my mom was feeling herself you know because i'm like your mom doesn't sound like something your mom would do i know so yeah we were taking a couple shots i ain't gonna lie so anyways and then my mom turned into like a little chihuahua scared just like mm. so obviously i was gonna be like what the fuck so i'm like what we got a problem what's going on and then like the little <laughs> girl like literally just like rolled up and went all scared and like just went about her day so that was a good memory um my parents were going to go to Hawaii. And, were or they went? Well, this was like before they were leaving. Um, and my mom, my parents love to party. <laughs> they are. They do. <laughs> <laughs> so the night before their air, or they were leaving, before they went to the airport, my mom, like we were all drinking and she, they decide to like overdo it as always. And she got so drunk like i have so many videos of her like i can't even remember what she was saying but it was the funniest thing and then the next day when they went to the airport you know like the flight to hawaii is pretty long so she was throwing up the whole time she was on the flight the whole first day she was there and the car right there like they had to pull over constantly because she was like throwing up on the side of the road but my mom's like so funny when she drinks 
She is. Next question. Favorite childhood memory? I have a lot. I feel like I don't have one. I grew up with two brothers and two sisters. So I feel like my childhood was so awesome. So it's like so hard for me like on the spot to like think of specific moments. But that's why I feel like all my answers are going to be very generic. My favorite childhood memory off top will have to be my car ride to Florida. Me, my brother, and my uncle. My uncle is super, super young. He's like four years older than me. Full two weeks, we were in Florida just having a blast. Orlando. Um, we went to Universal Studios. I remember we went to all the um, different Disneyland parks. What is your favorite song? I have a lot of favorite songs, to be honest. So I don't think I have like a... Right now, we were just like listening to um, Anuel and Carol G. Yeah, I really like on repeat. <laughs> I like Without You from, I don't know her name. Oh, Halsey? Halsey. Or Halsey, whatever Halsey. her name is. I, don't know I like her. I really like the Carol G song. I've, I've been playing that one a lot. The Secreto? Yeah. What was the toughest part about nursing school? Memory lane. Nursing school, like the exams are literally like, so you'll have like A, B, C, or D, or sometimes they're like select all that apply, and all the answers are correct. Sometimes it's like, I don't know, you know? But like I think towards the end, like we got used to it, so it wasn't that bad. But definitely at first, that's what I hated about it. Like it just didn't make sense to me. Like why are all of these correct? Like how am I supposed to know which one's better than the other? Uh, there are specific teachers that made it very hard on a class, especially it was like more self-taught. So I think that's what was the toughest part about nursing school. You know, you're paying so much money for a teacher to teach you, not for you to go and just sit there and try to figure out what the hell is going on and then you go home and try to like brainstorm this like hour-long lecture. I didn't like that. Who is your style and makeup inspiration? Inspiration? I think I really love Desi Perkins. I think she does very pretty makeup. I like her a lot. I've been actually watching her more recently. Style inspo. Her name is Anna Maria. I'll link it below so you guys can check her out. I, I think her style is super dope. I love it. I still love watching like Carly Bible. You love Carly. I know. I think I think she's so pretty. Style? Not really. Not like one specific person. Like I took a little break. I put on my eyelashes right now. I'll put in the description box what eyelashes I use. What was my childhood nickname? <laughs> my parents would call me Hasmin or Hasmina. Well my parents will call me this is Boo Boo. And then my friends especially Jocelyn, would call me Achi. <laughs> so those are my childhood nicknames. And I'm using um, Lancome Mascara, Hypnos. What's something only your good friends know about you? I feel like we should answer this for each other. You put your hand by your butt and you fart and you smell them. When do I do that? I'm just kidding. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I do that. So Ashley, something, if you really know her, she's really ghetto. Bruh. You are so irritating right now. <laughs> Deep down, she's so ghetto. But I'm not ghetto. she knows how to act right when she needs to act right. When people first meet her, they like think of her as like this like chismosa girl who literally asks people. Like you literally interview I ask people. 21 questions because I want to know how you are. And that's how you get to know people. Because if I'm not rocking with the vibes, baby, bye. So, something about you. I feel like you're about to talk shit. <laughs> she's really shy. People may think you're boring. And not wanting oh. to, I'm being honest. That's what I thought about you. I thought you were boring. You're, but you talk a lot. Now it's like, well, can you be quiet sometimes? I do talk a lot. If you, if I, literally, if she I keeps going, lot, I'm just like, if so do you though. No. How did you and Caesar meet? It's a long story. We met through a mutual friend, Yvette. Thanks, best friend. Long story short, she was dating his good friend at the time, and then she, we were supposed to go to prom, and Caesar needed a date, and she's like, oh, why don't you just ask? my best friend Ashley and then that's how that went and then he obviously liked me because obviously look at me I think a little shorty oh my god <laughs> I'm just yeah he confesses feelings to me and I hit him with I don't feel the same he stopped talking to me I'm dead here we are eight years later almost that's insane yeah. what about you and Chris how did you guys meet um he messaged me on my space <laughs> he split in the DMs I'm dead down in the DMs. And did you like him? No. <laughs> he came up to my locker and he was like, hey, I'm Chris. Or like something about like, hey, remember me from MySpace or something? I'm Chris or something like that. And then I 
closed my locker and walked away. <laughs> Rejected. Yeah. And then we were like friends for like years. And then, that and then I gave him a chance. <laughs> and then how many years later now? Like five. Time flies. So yeah. Long story short, we both didn't like our boyfriends and here we are in long-term relationships. Crazy. But he just put, I really like your style and I think you should do a blog. Definitely do, um, maybe not like a blog type of thing, but we'll do like outfits, tag where we got them. And What's our favorite memory? The apartment days. I miss those days. Like we used to always like do crazy things. And I remember one night we got like so drunk off of wine and I was never into wine, but it was my first night like drinking wine and we were blasting music and um well first of all that's why our neighbors hated us oh. we used to like dance like on the wall that whole wall like ended up being so fucked up it we turned black okay <laughs> it's a pay for it from like juking on the wall and stuff dead we had our, we didn't get our deposit back let's just say that <laughs> our deposit did not return <laughs> my favorite memory is when we first hung out it was like a an epic ass night like first it was a hot you already know it was gonna be a hot mess we both had fake ids we weren't even 21 then we went to the club like let's just say her tires popped because they did just literally drove to the city and back and my tire popped and then i was driving on like a pop tire all you see is like the the sparks yes. moral of the story wait till you're 21 and don't do not drink drink and drive. drive yes no what is one goal or dream that you wish to accomplish before the age of 30. i want to finish um nurse practitioner school so we're gonna go back for our masters in may so that's one big goal and then i also want to buy a house for for sure obtain my um my master's in nurse practitioner degree and then save up for a couple years and then invest in a home what is something that pisses you off or your biggest pet peeve when ashley and i are somewhere and something happens to her and she blames me and yells out Jasmine! That happened. Jimin! Jimin! So uh, Jimin! It's the same voice. My, my, my pet peeve is you taking pictures of me and then exposing my phone. I don't even be taking pictures of you. Oh yeah, I love doing that. No, I don't even No, because if I take an ugly picture, delete it. If she grabs my phone trying to delete, delete, she and she gets pissed. Thing. She gets pissed. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I'm just like, alright, whatever. Back on track, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I am all done. This is the makeup look. We'll definitely link everything down below for you guys. I'm sorry we didn't like tell you guys what we use in the video. I just think it would have taken too long. Okay, right, this is my look. You want some spray? You're cute. Spray me. Oh, he wasn't ready. <laughs> Shot me in the eye. <laughs> so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy today's tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Definitely give us ideas um, about what you guys would like for the next video. And tune in because we'll be dropping our next video soon. Until next time.